morning guys and welcome to the first day back at school christmas is officially over the whole holiday is officially over and we got snow we got snow you guys not a ton just enough to let us know that it is winter we are about to have baby goats you guys like i knew that once we got through christmas that things were gonna change fast for us and then we were gonna be in a baby goat watch baby goats are pregnant for about 145 to 150 days and I have our due date set for 150 days because I honestly don't know exactly when they're gonna give birth on but we're gonna see I've been watching for signs it's too early we still have like a month left but there are some things that we have to do before our goats can give birth to make sure everything goes well I'm gonna explain it to you guys but first <laughs> Sophie is crooked. Why are you crooked, Sophie? Because I hurt my neck. She pulled a muscle in her neck. She thinks she did it while she was sleeping. But I did, because when I woke up, this is a freaking cat. I couldn't move my neck. Oh, is the cat by your bed? Well, she wakes me up in the morning. Oh, well, anyway, so I've had it's that before, face. and I know that it'll just take a couple of days, and you're, you'll come around, but it's the worst pain, isn't it? the worst feeling but it goes straight up to my head Head, yeah because she has head issues everybody's like shut up and feed me because she has problems with her head from a previous from a previous fall kind of complicates things for her because now that her neck is sore it's making her head sore so yesterday I told you guys I think that I wanted to change their diet up a bit because she's not laying it's normal not to lay in the winter though our chickens are just Stopping. Our chickens are just starting to stop laying. So one of the ways I switched it up is I put some vitamins in their feed and I got rid of all the corn. So I was giving them a lot of corn to keep them warm in winter, which is good for them, but they were just eating all the corn and leaving the food and they need to eat the food. So I didn't give them any corn yesterday. I just gave them their feed with some vitamins in it and they said nope and they didn't eat a single bit of it yesterday nothing they ate nothing <laughs> i know they're like what kind of trickery is she into today the thing is is if an animal loses weight it makes them susceptible to more susceptible to like bacteria and also like um parasites and it just makes them more likely to get sick so i don't want that to happen so they're getting corn like I don't care about the eggs right now. We're gonna wait until the spring when they can get out and they can roam and they can eat all sorts of different things. So I'm more worried about them maintaining their weight and their health. I so look crazy. You look crazy? Yeah, yeah, with your head crooked? Yeah. I'm gonna try and give her I'm gonna try and use some some Lucy. hot and cold therapy when we get Lucy. to the house to help her fix that. So here's an interesting Christmas story for you. Sam ordered a Sophie uh a case for her AirPods. Just a cute little case that she wanted. And then at Christmas time, so whenever Sam orders something, he always gives it to me and says, here, this is for Sophie, blah, blah, blah. So whenever he orders stuff, he gives it to me so that I can keep track of everything that's bought so everybody can get the same amount of stuff. Out you go. So after Christmas, Sophie, um, after Christmas, Sam said, like, oh, well, what happened to Sophie's AirPod case? And I'm like, I did not see an AirPod case. You did not give me an AirPod case. Sophie, you're just letting them all in. Well, all right. they need to go out. We're struggling. We are struggling. Come in, no. Here yeah. they come. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sophie is, oh, no. I was, I, come on. Come on, it's nice out here. <laughs> they know if there's green in there or not. Come on. Yeah, it's berries. <laughs> Christmas berries. I got one. <laughs> oh my God. Give it, you I If I open the door, then this one just runs in. <laughs> God, let me help. Oh, we did it. <laughs> All except for one. All except for one. The, the baby. The rest of the baby. Oh. Okay. Got my AirPod case. Alright, so about our AirPod case. So he says, well, where's Sophie's AirPod case? And I'm like, you didn't give it to me. And he and says. I know it came in because he opened it right in front of me. <laughs> so I'm like, I know you ordered one because you told me about it. I'm on this side of the gate now. Goats 
Goats are, have so much personality. I saw somebody <laughs> I saw somebody say that the other day, and I'm like, yeah, that's the best okay, way to put it. Case. Okay, so about her AirPod case. I'm like, I know you ordered one. You did not give it to me. And he's like, oh, I gave it to you. I definitely gave it to you. It's all your fault. And I'm like, okay, fine. Sophie and I even scoured my closet to see if we could find it, but I did not see it, like, upon the Christmas wrapping stuff. So then what happened? Um, my father goes to get tape. And he comes he went to find like, tape yesterday, <laughs> this. and then he comes out with this. I'm like, yeah, you did not give it to me. Beautiful so now she has a Sour Patch Kids case for her for her AirPods. But isn't that great? Like surprises after Christmas, things that you didn't get to open on Christmas. But it always happens to me. I know it always happens to Last Sophie. Last time I didn't get my giant squishmallow. Yeah, and I was looking, and then. A different year, I didn't get my crystal kit thingy. Yeah, and I was looking at our... <sighs> this goat, man. The boy. He's he just so annoying. He just arms. walks up behind you and jabs you behind the knees. And I don't know why. Well, I have an idea. He wants... Look at his little fluffy ears. Stop doing that. Whoa. I will fight with you. Yeah, anyways. Oh, I got so, it here. He's good with the goats. He's just me or annoying with us. Blossom doesn't either. Boys are bad in every species. Species. Yeah. And I'm just joking. I know boys are not bad. They're, They're just all different. Annoying. <laughs> They're all annoying. Even the girls. Sophie's trying to take pictures of the goats. And I noticed one thing that she does. It's so funny. Since she uses sign language with them. She like, <laughs> she uses her hands to talk to them. Which isn't a bad thing. Stay. Stay. It's because she has a deaf dog and she uses sign language to talk to her. I know, he's really cute. We don't want any more boys than one. So he's our one and only. Take a picture of her. <laughs> she loves the next graduate. I know, she's really sweet and she loves people. Sophie made her so friendly. And her mom is just a friendly goat. Hi. She's just still nervous. Though. She's still like a bit nervous. We didn't have her when she was a baby. So she's... She's not one that's ever going to be like so super friendly probably, but she is still so friendly. You have blue eyes. You'd be even cuter if you had blue eyes. Or one blue eye and one yellow eye. Yeah, she's a sweet baby. Yeah, it's it's been feeling warm, even though it's snowy and it's cold. Like not warm, but kind of warm. But anyways, we're headed out. I told you guys just before Christmas, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was, that I wanted to try and do have enough grain on hand for all of our animals so that we didn't have to go shopping through the whole Christmas holidays. Like, I really wanted to spend two weeks just at home, just with our family and just enjoying life. Like I just wanted to spend two weeks and we did. Like we, we did. We enjoyed our holidays so much, but that's over now and we're headed out to get grain. What you're putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain It is gorgeous out here Like it's winter and it's cold Oh my gosh Ruby Ellie is going to be the death of me Ellie If you're like if you're not a young person, don't get a Yorkie. <laughs> like she is, she is a devil. I love the parts of her that are a devil, but some parts of her that are a devil are hard. Who will pick you up when you've lost everything? Does it all become for granted with a wedding? a lot of chicken feed 
or at least a lot to me. We go through about four, four bags a month. So that's about $80 a month. I don't know if that seems like a lot to you. It seems like a lot to me. But right now we're growing chickens and raising chickens. And typically that takes more food. Don't get me wrong. Ellie is my dream dog. I love her to death, but she is a handful. I have to, in the beginning, I felt like I never had to watch her because she watched me and she always stayed with me. Now that she's full grown, the truth is I'm watching her every single second because if somebody's gonna get into trouble, it's Ellie. <sighs> Woo. All right. See, if Sophie actually got her ponies. Honey would do this. I know. With her ears pinned, but she would do it. <laughs> but she's too young. She has attitude for sure. She's an ear pinning kind of girl. She's an Appaloosa mare. Ellie! Ruby! Oh, good girl, Ellie. Ellie, stay. Oh, God. Whoa! I got down. Ah. Oh. I, Ellie! <laughs> no! Ellie, come here. Ellie! <laughs> you see her popping up behind Ruby? It's adorable. Get it. Yeah, get it. get it, Molly. Get it. Pull Molly. it. Molly. Hey. Ellie. I used to constantly call Ellie when we were outside because I wanted her to come back to me so I could remind her not to chase Ruby. Now I learned to call Ruby and Ruby comes back to me. See? That's... Sit. Sit. Ellie. Ellie. Sit. Come here. Come here. Oh, God. And the thing is, she's trained for in the house. But when we get outside and she gets excited and she gets in the zone and she... I'm pulling this and a dog. It's like she can't even focus. Now that is a winter dog. That is the best dog ever. Molly again for the... She's growling. <laughs> it's got to go to the goat barn. Okay. Anyway, I've been. We're fighting over. One now day. they're fighting over the sled. I have been working and working and working at it every day a little more. Sometimes I bring her out. Lately, I've been bringing her out without any other dog. She listens perfectly. <laughs> she listens perfectly. But the minute Ruby gets out here or a friend that she loves. She just chases them, and poor Ruby can't stink. Can't, Ruby's like nine years old. And she, she's not up to that. Ooh, happiness requires work every day. told you earlier there are a few imminent things that we need to do for our goats to prepare them for kidding for kidding season so it's about five weeks until our goats give birth but it could be like four weeks could be five weeks I'd like I said I don't know when they're gonna kid 145 days 150 days so one thing that you do a month before goat's kid. You give the mamas a CDT shot. So we were going to do it today, but then when we went up to do homeschool, we calculated and I'm a bit worried. Like I don't want to give it too early. So it's five weeks before I want to give it when it's four weeks before. I don't know what kind of leeway that you have, but I'm going to wait and count four weeks from the 150 days until they kid. So the reason that you give the CDT 
is it's just a vaccine. Immunizing the does will give the babies protection when they're born. So as long as you do it a month before they kid, they'll be protected when they're born. So, so it's super important and we want to get it done. I always find myself getting antsy and like wanting to jump the gun and we were going to do it today because it could be four weeks this week or it could be five weeks, but I think we're going to wait. We're going to wait another week. Um, we're going to pull them in and get their feet all done and get everything all ready in the next couple of days. And then I'm going to wait until maybe Monday and give them their CDT vaccine. So CDT is something that we've done before. Um, we give it to our goats every year. And then also anytime we've done something super stressful with them. So when we brought the buck here, we knew it would be like a stressful situation for them. So we did the CT vaccine for the buck and for the does and for our goats. So we did it just, just last summer and we'll do the doe. We'll do the does that are due. We'll do our senior does that are due about to have babies next week. So that's just what I wanted to tell you guys that we're prepared. And Sylvia and I are also putting together our kidding kit it's a basket of things that we're gonna need when the when the does give birth just in case and some things that we we're gonna need regardless of whether they need any help so we're putting that together i'm gonna make a whole video on it we're gonna show you guys uh, when we have it all together i want to have it done by the end of january that's my goal a couple weeks before um we're just slowly getting things together compiling them we have a lot of the things already but i don't want to use those things. I want to keep them where they are. I want to actually make an entire kitting kit of things that we're going to need so that it can just stay in the kit, stay in this tack room here and, and we'll have it always. So we're always prepared and we're always ready. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that Sam and I are making changes to the channel. A lot of changes. We're changing a lot about our channel. And that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. We're going to slowly do it. Uh, today, we are working on some things. A lot of it's like behind the scenes stuff that we have to get done. You guys might start noticing changes coming out really soon just on our channel. Just the look of it and, and changing a lot of that kind of stuff. So we'll keep you posted. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. There must be a reason that